Hey guys, Ajax22 here making an update video. I uh, got the firing pin out. Um, midnight flash of inspiration while reading some of the comments on one of the threads about this uh, this gun. And uh, yeah, a little bit of red jet, redneck ingenuity regarding making the punch longer so that it would work. Uh, took one of the start punches broke the uh, the pin punch part of it off so that it was a little stronger and stopped bending on me when I was applying a little bit of love found a nice little socket the uh, quarter inch socket from my roommate's uh, tools which I now have to figure out how to get that punch out of but um, an uh, extension and we got it right in there and uh, drove the firing pin right out Pretty clean, actually, all things considered. I mean, it's it's pretty mangled, and uh, it did a, a nice job of blasting that pin out. I'll see if we can. Uh, hard to sell. There you go. Still needs to be electrolysis dipped to get all the crud out, and it needs to be cleaned out. There's still a little bit of broken spring stuffed in there, but uh, we'll zap her. Then I'll go about scrounging up the uh, the parts to put this thing back together and uh, should actually go bang now um, we still have the main spring housing that needs some love and those detents in the frame are going to be an issue but if I swap out the main spring housing for something to work just for now and I just sort of hold my finger over the slide stop to keep it from falling. We should have enough to make it go bang. Um, or, you know, maybe put a piece of tape over it if we're going to fire it on a string at first. Uh, yeah, I think I just need to round up some grip bushings, uh, an extractor. I think I have a firing pin, but I'm not 100% sure if the one I have will work in this gun. And, um, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Um, there's still a couple of cosmetic parts that I'd like to restore. Um, the plunger assembly for the, the front end. And, um, you know, obviously the mainspring housing, I'd love to use the original. But that may require drilling, tapping, adding screws to things, pulling them out in in vices, etc. So I'm going to put this back in the electrolysis to try to clean out that hole a little bit and then uh, I'm going to send some emails to some people see what I can do about scrounging up the missing parts and then uh, get my buddy back over here to help me throw this thing back together. Um, I'm not really all that uh, able with the assembly of 1911s, believe it or not. So I'll get him involved, I'll get the parts, and fingers crossed, knock on wood, we'll think about a range day. So yeah, that's it. That's awfully exciting. It's uh, a little bit late here, but damn if that didn't work. Um, Y'all know who you are. <laughs> Thanks for that tip. It, uh, it worked. All right. Have a good one, guys. I'm going to go get some sleep. Good night.